Hi there, this is Dave from VideoFXUniverse.tk and today I'm going to do a tutorial in 3D Studio Max 9. Uh, this tutorial is creating a sky background. Now, as you can see in our camera viewport 1 we have an F117A stealth bomber and it's been uh, animated to move forward and fly around uh, but it has no background yet so uh, what we're going to do is create one. Now what you need to do is go over to your standard primitives object type and click on plane and go up to our top viewport and drag one onto the scene okay change our length segments to one and our width segments to one now we need to rotate it so it's facing up okay and what we also need to do now is move it so that it's in front of our um, F117A now just checking that it's in front, we need to animate this and make sure it doesn't fly through it, which it does now. So I need to see where it stops to fly forward, which is about there, and move this just in front of it. Right, now, it, now that it does not fly through it, we have a next problem. Our plane ends and we have a, a blank background, so obviously what you need to do now is uh, tidy this up. So select our um, scale button, move it right out to the right, and on our front viewport, move it right up so that the whole camera is filled. Check your animation just to make sure there's no edges like there are here. Okay, and just fill that up. Right, now that we've got our uh, background plane, we need to add a material to it. So press M for materials. Okay, click this blank diffuse box here, and you'll get an option come up. Click bitmap. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to view some of these skies to see what we have. Now these skies come standard with the uh, 3D Studio Max 9 package so like I say if you have that then you can find these in your installation file. I'm going to click on Cloud Sky, click Open and now I'm going to click on this button here to apply it. I'm going to click on this button to show it in the viewport and I'm going to go up to the, um, the parents section and I'm going to set self illumination to 100. Okay. Now if I just do a, re a preview of this, we'll see what we come back with. Okay. And there you have it. You have your sky. See? And it actually animates with um with your camera as well. So as you can see, it moves around and that's perfect. Right, now we have our scene. Um you may want to add lights to um to your object and sometimes you already have lights in it however this can cause problems um, let me just uh, create a light uh, light standard light target spotlight um, now you see that it goes dark here however that's not a problem because we've set the self illumination to a hundred so therefore the, uh, the background layer won't be selected okay um, alternatively what you can do as well is go into your modify exclude and click your plane uh, not, the, not the actual um, vehicle but the plane background and move it into the exclude section. This will um, exclude it from receiving um, illumination and casting shadows because um, if you've got shadow selected with your light the um, you, last thing you want is a massive shadow appearing on your sky because that just doesn't happen. Um, alternatively another way you can do this is uh, select your plane r right click object properties um, and untick cast shadows and receive shadows okay so now you can have lights in your scene and they won't affect your plane at all um, like I say they only affect the other um, objects in your scene unless you've um, excluded them so that's basically the tutorial um, if you want to uh, visit the website videoeffectsuniverse.tk um, if you need a tutorial or need help or you want to give help uh, that's perfectly fine sign up to the forum have a look and um, well thank you for listening Bye.